I was born with the gift to sing with voice, you know. And that's what I'm going to do. And I don't think, like I said, I don't think my greatest asset is shaking my ass or my tits or, you know, going that, that route. Because that means I got to give this up, you know. And this is what God gave me, you know. This, all this other stuff is just the gravy. It's harder to do, I think, for me, is to stay in this business and stay in love with it, you know. Or stay in love with, with what I do, remembering that it's the love for my music and the love for, you know, making it, that I'm in it, you know, because if it wasn't for that, I would have gotten out because it's a nasty, nasty business. It is, it's low down. And um, that part of it uh, will make me want to get out because um, there's a lot of, um, lots of uh, uh, angles now, you know, I mean, you don't have to be a singer. You don't have to dance. You've got a nice dress, and you've got a nice body, and you've got a nice face. Make a video. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll hook it up in the studio. Don't even worry about it. You don't have to say a note, you know? It's that kind of thing now, you know? And it's like, where are we going? <laughs> what are we doing? I've always kept God as, as my head, and that way I have a humbleness. You know, I can't get above God, you know, and I don't want to be bigger than he is, you know. So that, that, that creates a, a mildness and a meekness in your soul, in your heart, you know, that you can't escape, you know. And if you remember those things, which is something that my family, my mother, you know, injects all the time, you know. Those things stay the same, you know. You may make big money and go many places and do all those things, you know, but God still stays the same. My mother's the only one I go you know, and sit on her lap and go, Mommy, what am I going to do? <laughs> you know, how am I going to do this? But she, it, that's my mother, you know, and, and I've always been able to go and sit on her lap. Even at this age, I sit on her lap and I say, Ma, I mean, I got a problem. Or, Ma, listen to this, you know, and, and I, and it's those times when you can only go to your mother, you know, or and for the most part, I don't even have to go to my mother. She has this connection with her children that she will call me. And, and at the weirdest moments, the weirdest times, say, hey, what's going on with you? I just dreamed about you last night, and I know something's going on in your heart. Want to talk about it? You know, that kind of thing. The first time that Whitney and I felt that we finally found the song that we wanted to sing together, um, obviously everyone expected from the very onset of her career that, oh, well, when are you going to do a duet with Whitney? And, we simultaneously were saying the same thing without even knowing it when the right song happens. We're not just going to record just because we're related. We're going to record because it's a good tune. Dion has always been um, someone that I, I, I've looked up to since I was a little girl, you know. Um, I spent a lot of time with Dion when I was younger. And she was my, my model of someone, you know, that I looked at in the business and just thought, was so full of grace and just charm and 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 talents. You know, he's um he's my friend, you know, and he's supportive of me, you know. And and that's very important um, when you're married, you know. Many people, myself included, were, were surprised when the two of you got together because on the surface at least, mm -hmm. you seem very different people. Well that's why you were surprised, because you're just looking at the surface. You don't know. Bobby or I, really. You don't have to live with us, and you haven't slept with us, and you don't eat with us, so <laughs> you would know, and you would be surprised. But if you knew us, like people that live around us and, and are with us most of the time know us, we're meant to be together. That's why we got married. I just read something the other day, like, uh, yeah, she's married, and uh, she's having an affair. <laughs> some woman I don't know you know so it's like now I'm married and I'm still you know it, it's 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 degrading you know it's kind of demoralizing I think that when you're famous and uh, you're you're popular you know in your field and what you do I think they're gonna <laughs> you I'm sorry I, I I really do I think that that's the way they deal with the media I think that's the way they make their money you know because um, it's not only me. There are a lot of other people they just pick with all the time, you know. I think that 
when they find something that they think people are intrigued by, you know, and I guess, I don't know, I guess I'm intriguing. I don't know, I don't find myself to be that intriguing, but I guess they do. I resent the hell out of it. Oh, don't get me wrong. I resent it to the utmost degree, you know, because it's, it's intrusive on one's life. It's not, a, it's not funny, you know, um, although you have to laugh at it just to keep going and to keep from getting pissed off. I have better things to do with my time than to fight a rag magazine, you know, because I know that ain't going to be the last time they're going to write something about me, you know, and, you know, there's, there's, it just goes on, you know. So, you know, if it's, it, it, it's according to what it is, you know. It's, it really does. It, it's according to what it is. If they really, like, you know, oof. I don't, I can't think of what it could be <laughs> that would make me want to take him to court, you know. Because there are a few things I should have took him on, but I just don't have the time, you know. I just kind of, what's hot today ain't hot tomorrow, you know. So it just goes back and forth. I think it's kind of like a natural progression um, to be a singer, actress, you know. It's, it's different when you're an actress turned singer, you know. It's, and, it's, and it's very rare for an actress to turn singer, but most... Most singers, um, you know, it, it's a natural thing for them, I think, you know. You're interpreting a song, you, and you're acting it out somewhat. So I think when you get into movies, it's just... What's difficult about movies, though, is, is the actual speaking and having to speak it emotionally. You know, I'm used to singing it emotionally, you know. That's, that's the difference. But it's kind of a natural progression, for the most part. The character I play, her name is Rachel Marin, and she's a uh, rock star actress turned actress and she um needs a bodyguard she doesn't know it nor does she really care her management uh, knows that there's someone threatening rachel's life rachel's not aware of it and they hire frank farmer who's kevin costner to protect rachel Frank rearranges Rachel's whole life. She doesn't like it, and they have a lot of conflict. There's a lot of conflict between Rachel and Frank in the beginning. In the end, they learn to respect and love each other and move on their own, you know, respective ways. And that was the thing. I just didn't want to do films. I had many, many scripts before The Bodyguard. But, um, you know, I wanted to do uh, something that would um, add up, you know, not just, you know, oh, she did a film. Well, how nice, you know, that's very nice what is in the movies, you know. And it took me a while, you know, to get to a, a script like The Bodyguard, you know. I waited, I waited, and I think if I, if I play my cards that way, if I'm just smart about my projects, I think I can keep a momentum going. Hollywood's happy. <laughs>